Hi, I'm Julie, and this is Melanie, and we're your Operation Diabetes co-chairs. We just want to give you a brief update on what we have going on this month with Operation Diabetes. This month is Diabetes Awareness Month, so be sure to share information with your friends and family about diabetes. We have several health, health fairs coming up, um, so just keep your eyes out on the Sakai page for more information on those. Uh, we also have World Diabetes Day event coming up, and we have a roundtable discussion, so keep an eye out for emails through the Sakai page, and also the CAPS weekly updates for more information. Hi, my name is Marty, and I'm one of the co-chairs from Generation Rx. And I wanted to let you guys know that we have two really great opportunities coming up. Um, the first one is on November 14th. We are going to be going to McDougal Middle School and giving two presentations about prescription drug abuse prevention. Um, the second opportunity is the following week. It's November 26th and 27th. We will be in the pit talking about stimulant abuse and um, encouraging students to avoid it as they go into their finals week. And that will be from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Thanks. Hey guys, my name is Tegan and I'm one of the leaders for Operation Immunization. Uh, just wanted to let you guys know that we did manage to immunize 1,175 patients at the State Fair as well as um, we've had great success with our continued efforts over at Campus Health with immunizing UNC students. Um, we do ask that if you volunteer with us for any events that you go ahead and report those numbers back to us and continue to check the CAPS website for events as new events are posted all the time. Hi everyone, I'm Kate Bender and I'm in charge of the Industry Interest Group. We've had tons of great events so far this semester and we have one last one coming up before the end of the year. On November 14th, Wednesday at 5 p.m., I'll be hosting a fellowship information panel. This will be a great opportunity to learn what a fellowship is, how you apply for it, what the interview process is like at mid-year. So, hope to see you there. Hi, this is James from the Community SIC. Uh, just three quick reminders. Uh, just the first thing is that we have an event on the 16th of November from 12 to 1, where we're gonna be hearing uh, just from a panel of community residents uh, just to see what is it like to be a community resident. And then secondly, on the 30th, we're gonna have a joint event with AMCP and we're just going to hear a little bit about a community care residency with a managed care emphasis. So don't miss that. And then thirdly, we're going to uh, also continue to post a lot of things up on Sakai. So if you haven't already, go out and check out the resources, uh, the articles, testimonials, and other things that may help you in your practice. All right, have a great day. Hey everyone, I'm Alex and this is Oshik. We're uh, from Men's Health Patient Care Project. Uh, we just want to talk to you a little bit about the events that we have scheduled for November, or as we like to call it, Movember. Uh, there's a national organization supporting men's health, health called Movember, and one of the ways they encourage uh, spreading awareness about men's health issues is by having men grow their mustaches. And some, you'll notice some of your classmates have already started to get in on this. Um, pretty much what you can do is support them uh, throughout the month, and we have a number of other events to help get uh, those who aren't participating involved as well. You'll see a number of speakers um, coming up and a few other fun little events. So just make sure uh, to keep an eye out for that in the coming days. And uh, towards the end of this month, we are actually going to be celebrating all those mustaches that you'll be seeing. Um, and it should be either Thursday or Friday of, the, of this month on either the 29th or 30th of, of November. And what we'll be doing is celebrating those mustaches and also voting, hopefully with some celebrities on our voting panel for uh, the best mustache of Movember, and therefore we'll be crowning both the man and woman of Movember, and we'll hopefully be recognizing all those people while also raising awareness and celebrating men's health. Changing the face of men's health. <laughs> Thank you.